This is homework question 15 um, from your note package lesson one. Uh, what the question says is the distance can be determined using this formula here. So d is equal to r times t and it says that r is the rate of speed and t is time. And then what a says is a says if the distance is represented by this, so a gives you the distance and it gives you the speed. What uh, it then says is what is an expression for time? So what they want you to do from this formula here is they want you to manipulate this formula to get time by itself. So time right now is being multiplied by r. So in order to get time by itself, I have to divide both sides by r and then I've got time by itself. So my new formula is time is equal to d over r, and they tell me that r is speed, okay? So time is going to be equal to distance over, over speed. So then what I need to do is remember that you always have to factor. So here's our distance formula, and this is a PSA 2 question, right? Uh, because 2n squared plus 11n plus 12, this would be PSA 2. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the product of 12 times 2, which is 24. So what multiplies to 24 and what sums to 11? And that answer is 3 and 8. Remember that PSA 2 is called decomposition. So you say to yourself, how do you get 11 n's using this answer here? So how you get 11 n's is 3 n's plus 8 n's, right? That's how you get 11 n's. Bring down this plus 12 and bring down this 2n squared. PSA 2, you're always going to have uh, four terms. And then what you do with those four terms is you split them in half and you group factor. So what you could take out of a 2n squared and a 3n is a 1n. And I'm just going to put an n there. That goes in front of the bracket. The answer goes in the bracket. So I would have 2 plus 3, 2n, uh, sorry. 2n plus 3. And then on the right hand side, what can you factor out of an 8 and a 12? You could factor out a 4. And you always have to tell me the sign on the right hand side, it's a plus 4. So you could factor out a plus 4. The solution goes in the bracket. So 8n divided by 4 is 2n. And then 12 divided by 4 is plus 3. Look at your two brackets and see if they're the same, and they are. So then my factored answer for distance is um, that 2n plus 3 and n plus 4. Okay? So that's my factored answer for distance. Uh, because remember that this formula up here, I'm going to need to write that answer, the distance, over whatever r is factored. So here's our r, 2n squared minus 32. So if I said, okay, factor that, you'd say, okay, I could uh, GCF, take a 2 out of there. And then I would get n squared minus 16. And then this, what you have to see, two terms separated by a minus, that is a difference of squares. And this answer would be 2 n plus 4 and n minus 4. Now that I have both the numerator and denominator factored, I'm going to write that equation. So t is equal to distance, which was this here. So 2n plus 3 over n plus 4 all over r, which was this down here. So 2n plus 4, n minus 4. Okay, what cancels from here? So once everything is factored, then you say, well, what can I cancel? So n plus 4 and n plus 4 cancel. And what we're left with is we're left with 2n plus 3 in my numerator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase um, something here. So I'll just erase this. Okay, so what we're left with, our simplified expression for time, 
is 2n plus 3 remains in the numerator. And I would have a 2 in my denominator and an n minus 4. So I still have two factors in my denominator and I have one factor in my numerator. Technically, like this is in a bracket, but because it's only, I don't need to show that bracket, so I'm just gonna get rid of that bracket. And then I would say comma, n could not be equal to, and what were my non-permissible values? So that n cannot be four, this n could not be negative four. So my non-permissible values were n cannot be plus or minus four, okay? And that would be your fully factored answer for t.